So in the first video, we're going to be slating this roof here. It's broken down into sections. The first section is going to be to put on the felt support trays. We'll then put on the breather membrane. We will then work out the bottom datum and the gauge measurements. We'll put the battens on, next sheet of felt, more battens right up to the top so that we're ready with the felt and battening. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to fit the felt support tray. This supports the felt at the bottom of the roof. We don't want the felt exposed to the sunlight or the, the elements. This prevents it. This part here goes into the gutter. That's what takes the water into the center of the gutter. So this needs to come along here. I have my colleague Dave with me here, who's gonna come in and just hold that there for me. So I fit these with just with slate nails really. Got my second one. I've actually pre-cut these. What I want on this is that this end fixes onto a rafter. I don't want lots of it hanging over here. I want it to be finishing on that rafter. I'll put a bead of maslet down here, about 25 mil in from the, this edge. And when I put the second sheet on, I'll put a bead of maslet down there. What I'm gonna do now is to fix the breather membrane. So, We'll get it in the right position over there. What I need on this is a 10 mil nominal drape in between the rafters. That makes sure that the battens don't touch the breather membrane. I'm using a large headed galvanized clout, not a staple. Come all the way across like this. To get the 10 mil nominal drape, I've made this simple little device. Okay, so you can see it's just a short end of batten. It just covers two rafters, and that is the 10 mil door stop, which we just screw to the back. So with the breather membrane fitted now, what we're going to do now is work out the measurement for the datum. The datum is a fixed point. It's the first full slate batten that you put onto a roof. All the other measurements are taken off the, the, of your datum. So if your datum's wrong, the rest of your roof's going to be wrong. So I have my slate. I'm just going to work out my datum on the slate so you can see it physically. So I take the length of my slate, which in this case is 500. What I want to do now is take off into the gutter 65 mil. Easiest way to do it, get yourself a nail. Mark 65 on there. What I have to do now is put 25 on the top because the, bat the slate has to sit halfway on the batten. So with the batten there, I would add 25, measure down to that arrow, and that gives me 460. 460 is my datum. What I'm gonna do now is to go on and work out the gauge measurement. So to work out the gauge, I take the length of my slate, which in this case is 500. I take off the headlap, which in this case is 100. That leaves me with 400. Because it's a double lap roof covering, I divide that 400 by two. That gives me 200. Circle and dot, 200 is my gauge measurement. So. What I'm going to do now is to mark the datum on. I come from the top edge of the felt support tray now, which is on top of the fascia board. My datum, as I worked out earlier, is 460. Put it on like that. Mark the top. That's the top of the baton I'm marking there. I can come across to this one and do exactly the same here. Taking it from the same spot, 460. That's my marks on for my datum. I've got my datum measurement on both sides of the roof. What I need to do now is to strike across with a chalk line, this thing here. This will give me a nice straight line to put my batten to. Hold it tight. So now we're gonna put our, our datum batten on. 
Dave's going to give me a hand on that end there. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to put my finger in the end here so that when I push the button in, it doesn't hit the breather membrane or the wall. Okay, I'll come halfway. So I've nailed it there, there, and on the end. I can now go back and nail the intermittent rafters. So what I'm going to do now is to cut the end of the batten off because I don't want it going past the end barge board. Now this is not a barge board, this is an end rafter and it's on a roof rig. So these cuts here were made by apprentices that got it wrong. What they've done, they've sawn it like that. What they should do is saw it like that. Just have the saw just gently going away from the finished barge board. Because if you damage the barge board, it's expensive. What I've just made now is a gauging stick. Now this is made so that you don't have to keep using a, a the tape. Some of the tapes, it's quite inaccurate when you're taking the measurements off of them because the measurements are so fine together. Much more accurate to take a piece of batten like this, make sure you've got a good square edge, mark on there your gauge. This gauge is 200 mil, so I mark on there 200 mil and 200 mil and 200 mil. Mark those across with a felt tip pen. You can cut them in if you, if you wish, but you have to be accurate. And then the top, mark that across and cut it at 45 degree, roughly. That denotes that that is the top and not the bottom. And I use it coming off of this datum button to go up to mark my gauge and to come down to mark the eave gauge. So it just goes in there like that. That's the reason you have a square bottom. If you're planning on using a hook fixing, then you need to add minimum of five mil to your battening gauge. That goes on from my eave batten. So the reason I've only done one gauge up here and not done another one there is because when the next sheet of felt comes down, it needs to be trapped by a naturally occurring gauge batten. So it needs to go under a batten so that it doesn't flap about. Okay, so I've done one. When I put the next sheet of felt on, that will come down to there. The next batten will go on there. So it will be secured by the slate batten so it won't flap around. And the one down the bottom. So we're going to put the uh, battens on now. So Dave's going to help me that end. Put there, so I put my finger in there again so it's against there. So I've got a gap in against the abutment wall. This one goes right up and underneath the eave batten. That's to make sure that we've got a good solid fixing for the eave slate. That's our first few battens on. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to fix the next sheet of felt. Okay. What I'm going to do now is use my gauging stick again to mark up the gauges. Again, I'm not going to go too far because I've got to put another sheet of felt on the top or in this case, pull it over from the other side, which has already been felted. So I go into there. And on this one, I can get three battens on.
what we're going to do now is bring the felt over. So if there's a wall here, you would have to put felt up here and just up the wall. We've got the other side on this roof, which is already felted, so I can pull this over now to come across there. So what I'm going to do now is continue marking up to the top, put my gauging stick on the right way around. Do the top one first, Dave. Or sorry, the top mark one. If you're planning to use a dry vented ridge system on your roof, this next sequence of video will show you exactly how to do it. What I'm going to show you now is fixing the rafter straps for the dry vented ridge system. This is carried out at felt and batten stage, whereas you come up this side, but you don't fix your top batten. You come up the other side, you don't fix your top batten. This has got two arrows in the middle. Place those arrows there like that. That comes down over each side. You have four nail holes in each bracket and they're fixed with a large headed clout nail such as I've got here. These brackets would be fixed maximum 600 centers. So that's all the straps are fixed to the rafters. I now have to fix my top button on this side and the top button on the other side. I'm now going to fix the batten on the top, which is my ridge batten. Try and get this as central as you can. And the best way to do this is again with some large headed clouts, slate nails. If you get that there, tack that. Okay, so that's all the nailing up of the rafter brackets done onto the ridge batten. That gives you a very good solid fixing for your ridges. So that is the end of our first instructional video. We've covered putting on the felt support trays and jointing them. We've put breather membrane on the roof. We've worked out the datum and the gauge measurements and used those measurements to put the battens on the roof right to the top showing you how to fix a dry vented ridge system 
that is the end of it now. Our next video, we're going to cover marking the roof out. So marking the centre of the battens and marking your perpen lines up the roof. That's to keep your slate straight. We're going to cover measuring, marking and cutting the eaves and holding them. We're also going to cover grading the slates into thick, medium and thin sections. Look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.